Denver is hiring civilians to hand out tickets for a variety of violations, including the urban camping ban. This program is called the Street Enforcement Team. Rick Sounder working on this story for us tonight from Denver. So, Rick, a new approach to help an ongoing big issue. Yes, it is, Karen. You may remember that a Denver County Court judge had found the urban camping ban to be unconstitutional, but that was later reversed on appeals. Now the city is looking at a new way to enforce it. Wanted recruits to ticket violators of Denver's urban camping ban and other ordinances. The focus here isn't to use enforcement, but it does have to be a consequence to this when we cannot get them to move otherwise. The uniformed civilians the city will use are to supplement police to provide a less threatening encounter. But some advocates for the homeless populations now being blocked out more often don't necessarily care for the idea. It's just another escalation for ways in which the mayor has influence to invade the camps. Those going out to these sites will receive various types of training from the city attorney and Department of Housing Stability. Relations between some homeless advocates in the city have been tense. Protesters carrying tents that read Home Run for the Homeless attempted to march to Coors Field for the start of the All-Star Game, but were blocked by police. As we moved, we were increasingly met with larger and larger opposition from the police, including a SWAT team came in. At one point, a woman described as a Buddhist monk was laying down on the ground. Police told her to move. She apparently wanted to forge ahead and was escorted back into the crowd. Denver police told us that they didn't stop the protesters from marching, but it was just a time of heavy traffic before the game, and they rerouted them for their safety and that of motorists. Live in downtown Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.